Hello YouTube, how are we all doing? Sorry for my delay there since my last um, <laughs> confession, <laughs> or shall I say update. Um, it's been a while, um, too long to be honest. Um, I have some sort of a reason, or shall I say <laughs> an excuse. But uh, basically I have been doing work on another shed that I can actually do my building work in there and setting up that as a kind of a studio, a building studio. And I will show you everything of what's going on in there um, after I do the update here. Um, now, regarding what's been done in here in the past few months, not a lot um, because I was working more on the studio itself so I can have a proper, I suppose, base of operations, if you want to put it that way, for the building area um, and a bit of a studio look which I'll talk more about again as I said later. So in the city itself um, not a lot has been done um, like I said so we'll just take you through it. Anyone that has been subscribed to me for this long thank you so much thank you for your patience for waiting guys I'm so sorry for the length of time that it's taken and anyone that's new to the channel um, welcome um, and thank you for looking at the video. So, without further ado, getting to it, we have, I'll start at the start basically and run you through it. We have Arkham Asylum here, which is kind of my own take on it. Um, I love this Arkham Asylum set, the one that has in this dark grey gothic look to it, because it just spells that dark grey gothic look. Um, don't get me wrong, the one that came out a few years ago there for the Lego Batman movie, I do like. I got two of them and just put them together and there's lovely... A lovely design to it at the front but with this to me it just stands apart because it's got that eeriness that DC is all about you know and I'm a massive fan of DC guys you know and the bat so just taking you around it a bit for anyone that's new to the channel anyway Um, didn't do a lot here now I have to say since the last update Um, but look in this case we you know if you've been seeing this channel anyway that I like might say Doing more modular like buildings, a, a, a fullness of the building. So you have a front, side and back and a top, you know, as opposed to an open back. Um, so in this case, I got four to five sets of this. Again, not when they were out. It took a year and a half after they had been retired um, to get them and then sit down and really plan what it is that I want to do with it. So I wanted something that was big, dark, eerie isolated up on rock and has a presence literally when you walk in the door here you see it straight away um and it's got a whole back and it's got a whole interior as well which i promise you i will do in 2020 um but it's just hard work to take it off the rock itself part it up into five six different parts um it just takes a while to actually get that that done you know so that's why i didn't really jump to it we have a railway running behind here and i just didn't rock the back of this because it's rarely seen this is a kind of a slim aisle to walk down here so i don't spend a lot of time at the back once the sets are up and um, looking down here at the side of it we can have a graveyard which it just i was you know tipping around to see what it is that i could come up with there's so much more work would have you put in there to give it again that complimenting look to the side of it here you know water is surrounding it by all means not enough by any chance um but it's enough for now because again there's not that much space in the table we have a railway anyway surrounding the whole lot um, and we have this was where the old railway was just to give it that kind of derelict look and it just runs to the end here. I had a, a small little station that you could literally go in from an Arkham Asylum train that I had built and pull up here and let the convicts go in the back um, of the asylum. So I just made it to be a derelict railway line um, because I elevated the railway to run around the city so I just couldn't match it. Maybe something later on down the line I can do with it. Yeah, um, from the front then we have... Oh yeah, i just done a small um, take on the best of the villains here. Getting prezies off Santa. <laughs> which would never happen. But we're just throwing it in with the time of year. And just to be back out here. We've just got trees surrounding the whole lot. And we have the front here. Okay, so moving on down the line guys. Now here we have... If you'd noticed from the last update, if you had seen it, my city is a lot whiter. I completely revamped the middle section because like that, I was so hell-bent on, we'd say, doing this. And then at the other side, we have Wayne Manor and 
I like the builds that I done and like that. If you know from being at Lego for a while, your skill improves so much um, in the building side of things over years that every time I came to the middle of my city, it was looking more and more basic and beginner looking to me because I just had three kind of um, base plates with a few flowers around. So what I did was I emptied the city of all the figs, all the cars, got up on the table and cleaned out everything and rearranged the modulars. And that was some work. I couldn't believe it. Rearranging modulars is tough enough. Getting every fig that was there along with all the cars. There's a box of them. If I just go back here. Um, down there. Full of everything. And I'm slowly in the process now of putting more. Um, putting Sorry, putting some of them back. But not filling the city to the point of what I had it. It was a small bit too stuffy. Right? I just found that. You'd be looking around it all day and you couldn't find anything, so to say. You couldn't see things stand out. So what we did do was we changed the square, guys. And I made it more like a kind of a European square, like we'd say something like in France, Paris, Budapest maybe. So it's basically dark and light bluish grey plates with a touch of wine, burgundy plates. And as you can see here, right, we've got the four trees at the corners. A water fountain in the middle and two mini ones at each side. And just plenty of the same colour scheme of flowers. Now the Christmas tree is there just because of the time of year. And um, the plan was just to kind of give that spirit of Christmas around. And then we rearranged the modulars. I kind of think that the town hall still stands out to me as being the centrepiece. The assembly square came along there a few years ago. And it's massive, don't get me wrong. But again, the town hall has presence of its height and for what it is. And I think... The modular buildings can sit nicely on the sides. As you know, it's hard to place modular buildings and colour schemes trying to get it right. So the pet shop apartments that came, we'd say the pet shop and the apartments that came next to it, come in halves, which is fantastic, like the new modular is going to be. And um, I thought that you could do, in this case, I had the um, diner here the last time I put back the Emporium and one of these and then I have a gap running down the side for a half plate which is perfect so you can see the face of the pet shop and the assembly and I've done the same on this side as well where we have because I had got two sets of the pet shop at the time and I done the exact same where we have that little gap for a half plate to run down and just put some tiles on in just basic square designs to match the main square design here you know and in doing that with some work, I had to literally pull up all the Spider-Man bridges here, the railway, to get at it. And I literally had to stand up on that table and do some serious work and cleaning at the time. Um, moving on. Now, as we move down here, I put um, a gap here for a road to go in. And this is far, which I didn't get my hands on yet, funny enough, a year down the road. Excuse me, a year down the road is the... The garage, um, last year's mod, which will just go perfect next to that um, old firehouse. And we just literally come around the block here and in to there. And the garage, as you know, comes across with a kind of an open front like that diagonally. So it's perfect for cars to come in and out. It'll fit nicely. The new uh, mod that's coming out, which is beautiful, the bookstore. I probably would put, I might get two of them eventually anyway, because I like the fact that you can separate them out. But the bookstore and the apartments again at the side, I think I will put where the diner is and it will sit nicely next to or in between, shall I say. Because the diner, it's a kind of an unusual colour scheme and it can kind of sit by itself, I think, somewhere. Might put it in the back line, not sure. Um, but we'll see when you get them, you have to experiment, as you know, just to see what works. So moving on down, guys. Um, figs are all over the place here. This is just, again, I didn't even begin to replace. Like if you look here. Doc and Marty are thrown on a roof. <laughs> um, my Justice League setup has just fallen down. Um, so that's what was happening when I was just moving modulars around the place. This is a kind of a semi mock. Uh, one side of the assembly square I took and just put this the same corner and angle and following kind of the structure, but just put my own touch on the colouring. I just want that to be a little cafe. So moving on down, we doubled up in the Palace Cinema and we have that together here at the corner and it just rounds off the city nicely. And the HQ here. And then we have um, our mountain that I had built um, probably about six, eight months back. And I wanted the train to come through it because I love that that touch, we'd say, where you've tunnels and stuff in your city. Um, 
if you do get grey rock guys or shall I say a uh, grave sloped pieces like they're quite expensive and they're hard to get um and if I had more of them to be honest I'd have a lot more done here um but they're they're quite a price like and um you know you just have to save up and get them and do a bit at a time and then we're moving on to Win Manor and here um the bat wing certainly wouldn't be up there <laughs> that was just putting it over there to take it out of the city while I was moving mods again so nothing has changed here guys the um trees are the same the flowers it's all fenced up around and um, for those of you who hadn't seen it um and i'll just get a better view here now okay as i stand back here that's just kind of an overall of wayne manor so the way i want to have my city for any of you that are new to it is that we have wayne manor here and we have arkham asylum down the other side of it um and then we've got the city in between so that's the way i want i wanted to kind of the wayne manor to be outside the city as well and something bordering like the railway and a bit of rock work so he's separate from the city because obviously he's rich <laughs> so he has to have something we'd say that's away from the city but yes um he can reach the city as well being the bat so just quickly coming around the back guys here it's harder to get in here now because it's a bit tight so looking down there we just there's a bit of a back to this here the rocking so the lads we have rock climbing here and we have a little camp out at the top pine trees and that eagle that came in one of the city front packs which is cool and then of course um i can actually get in here bruce with all his uh sports cars i think those speed champion sets are cool they really are so if we come around here moving on take it to the other table Sorry, now it's tight here, guys. Now, this is the ultimate mess. Absolute. Um, what I had done, um, as you know from collecting Lego, like, if I can even take a small bit of a duck down here into what the tables are like. Like, there's just endless sets that I would get on deals and stuff over the period of years, like. And you'd say you'd build them, and you don't. And I went through a phase, again... The reason why it could be slow in a city update was just taking out sets and beginning to build them. Um, so I started with some of them because there's some great figs in them and yet you mightn't have space for them all to go somewhere in the city. And plus half of the city stuff was up here as well because I cleared it out. So I had from the last update, if you'd seen it, a C here. And I took it up and put it down the other side of the table, which is a mess it's not even done i just placed it down there and then of course if you know from collecting and doing stuff you see a horizontal space in your city that's empty and you just literally put stuff onto it so it is a shambles so where it was we did have a c here which my plans for here if any of you had got the ideas set the um tree camp tree house set which is beautiful I'm going to do something here around the lines of a park, maybe, um, with that uh, treehouse set there and a bit of rock building behind. But again, that's a later project on down the line. Um, then we had come to, again, this hasn't been touched since the last time, and I had just altered the coaster over to the Joker coaster and put what rails I had spare from the Wayne Manor in purple along this and put that purple cream purple and green design for the joker himself and i just wanted to emphasize on the dc thing if you know the animated series or anything like that or the comics um the joker always has something to do within the fun fair where he's i suppose killing people <laughs> or torturing people so i just wanted that kind of element in the um fun fair itself but again down on the line i'll, I'll eventually get to it then moving on here to the japanese um gardens so we have two of the um ninjago city buildings and the ninjago docks and in the front of that i put a small market it's hard to see you know because it's a small bit dark here today let's just drear outside and wet so there's a little market with some cherry blossoms and just water surrounding everything here and then coming up here we have the entrance into this is my own custom thing then is the Japanese garden. So a lot of you know this if you've seen the last update or you follow me guys. So anyone that's new to it, 
uh, hopefully you do like. So around here then I wanted water surrounding this completely. So out of the Erjitsu temples we had got a load of these um, huts and I put water behind obviously with the docks and then in front of these huts. So it's kind of a whole Japanese markety, um, we'd say village kind of going on. And at the back of them then we have, this is my own work then on the Japanese gardens themselves. So you're getting a full view. Um, now what I did do was just include a few dragons here and we have our tem uh, sorry our yeah our main temple which would be the pinnacle of the Japanese gardens themselves so as you walk in here we just have pathways water surrounding the whole lot some um, golden temple which is kind of my own mock and things here we have lots of bamboo um, the Temple of the Ultimate Ultimus Weapon. I doubled up on that just to make it again a bit fatter and a back on it. We had got roughly four sets of the Fire Temple from years ago. And I didn't buy them four sets actually. I only had two and I just got spare parts and put, put them together. Um, And then moving on down, a small bit of a kind of a statue garden. Um kind of a mock bridge here and all these gates are like these shrine gates that you see in Japan Um, what are they called Shinto Shrine I keep forgetting them every time Shinto Shrine Gates I must, <laughs> must check up my history again how it was all about when I was building this and then we have the main thing here which is the Air Jitsu Temples and I had bought eight of them again like that deals and over time um, by any means I'm not, I'm not loaded not rich or anything like that but this is my full time hobby guys I don't drink I don't smoke I just love Lego you know so um, saved up and got them so that's the main pinnacle here um, on this and then after that it's just moving on down here where we're just finishing it off out the other side of it we have again a bit more of these are kind of my mocks my own kind of creation just small little temples and if you were in Japan you'd see you know, special shrines guarded and stuff like that. And the water stopping there now. The last update I had rock coming down here and I took it all out. Cause I was unsure to what I was going to do. The idea was to bring now it's a mess as you can see, but the idea was to bring down the sea here and extend it out that way a little bit more and do some kind of a transition from where you have the Japanese gardens coming down, gardens coming down, excuse me, to the kind of rock slopes here with one or two waterfalls and maybe a small pier where you have the um, Ninjago junk boat, uh, which is a class boat, Destiny's Bounty, and um, parked at a dock. And then on the other side of that, really, that'd be the separation over then to what you call a sea and our fishing shop in the corner so that's the plan eventually but again it's just you know yourself you be all about it and suddenly something comes up and another project starts and you're back and forth all the time so yeah guys so that same um, wraps up in here regarding the city update and um, again my apologies on taking the length of time to get this out um, and what I'm going to do now is record a video of um, the other shed with the kind of building studio you would have seen some pictures of it if you follow me on Instagram I am um, I put up some shots at the time and uh, I haven't done I just I basically use it now for building and I haven't done much to it since but that was my main delay in kind of getting over here so again guys thank you for watching Um, thank you for following me thank you for all your comments which are amazing um, you are so positive and you have some great suggestions and I'm always open to it. Share your thoughts, um, your opinions, what you think, things that could be changed in the city, ideas. I love them. I love looking at all these because I love being in the Lego community and I think it's one of the most friendly communities on YouTube where one adult can talk to another, you know. Um, and I'm hoping that I have no idea of this whole carpet thing. Like I'm seeing people jump up and you know, get really offended with it and stuff like that. And, you know, there's a lot of hype around it there a few months ago when it all came out. But I think it's calming down. I think I think we'll be all left alone, hopefully, to do what we want to do and 
we we rate our videos or whatever we rate them you know hopefully so yeah guys so i will go from here um in next door and we'll take it up there okay guys here we are inside my um lego building shed and uh this is kind of the area where i relax put on my music and build away um, so I'm just going to take you through it because um, you never saw this so welcome to here um, basically what I've done is I'll go around it slowly um, and basically what I've done over the past few months is I got a lot into technic building um, in a sense that you know some sets you you'd get you wouldn't get a lot and um, they're quite expensive and I'm more into city Lego than I am these but in saying that they're fantastic display pieces and I tell you if you want to be tested like you know you have to slow yourself down when you're building these because the intricacy in we'd say even the jeep the the range rover um defender like there's three gears and that with a high and low box and you could only concentrate for so long and you if you miss something you've made mistakes you got to go back like you know it really um showed me how intricate lego can be and how fantastic these designers are like you know um took me back a step like i had to slow things down it wasn't fast by any means so yeah i got two glass cabinets anyway in ikea and i wanted them for the bigger bills i still have a few more which i'll show you there in a minute um as in technical lego bills that i want to um build in place but i just don't have a shelf for them yet so i don't want to just take them out to be gathering dust so moving on anyway over here guys we have the building table and right now I'm in the middle of the 30 year anniversary um, Bat Car, the Michael Keaton film, um, Batman. And I love it, but I'm probably the last one to actually have gotten it as this has been reviewed on YouTube 50 times over. Um, I have to say I was a little disappointed when I was actually, after well, when I would order this because it was, as you know, Black Friday the 29th and um, I waited up all night because I worked the next morning and I get up every morning early, but I waited up just until 12 o'clock so I could purchase this and the miniature version of it. And I was really hopeful for that. And as again, as I said in my previous video inside my, my display shed that I actually love DC and I really wanted this. And when I went on at 12 o'clock, I realized I think that the, 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 they opened the buy um, for this at 11.30 and when I went to buy it on the Lego site. Um, I couldn't, it just kept showing error, error on page, error on page and I was like a dog I have to say now because I couldn't order it and I stayed there for half an hour, 35, 40 minutes, kept hitting it to see could I buy it and it just wouldn't, wouldn't happen for me. So I just went to bed cranky to be honest and I woke up the next day at 8 and it was in back order at that time and when I went to buy it there you didn't get the free small version with it like so I was fairly, fairly cranky now right and I wasn't happy at the fact that they display this so much to get it and then you couldn't get it if you you know we waited up and then they did it a half an hour beforehand which was really annoying because i was waiting up all night um anyway i won't go into that too much over here then we've got um this is my uh just for instagram pictures i can just pull this out it's just a simple piece of white poster paper and you literally roll it around to my table here and then i can take a shot of sets or whatever i like with the white background here um, I just need probably a little bit more lighting all right from side to side to try and get a proper uh, touch on some of the pictures but it works fine and last it's so easy if you're doing it or thinking of it yourselves you know if you have Instagram accounts or whatever I just found a little bar like a towel rail in a bathroom and just um, poster paper that just spins out and you can put on the table take your shots of whatever it is that you want there and you can just roll it back up and then I use it as a building table as well that's perfect so moving on anyway here is a close-up of the Technic sets and the tumbler which was a fantastic build and that's why I can't wait to build the 1989 anniversary Batman car as well and then I have the Porsche 911 up here and a miniature version outside of it. Here then lads we have some of the collectible uh, minifig series which are fantastic and one or two of my own takes on some of the um, like for example the bat I just collected I just put my own board together on some of the um, 
the variation in figs, which I love. And I did the same, just with the DC stuff especially, which just my take on some of the villains. There's a poison ivy me one missing there, because I was using it. But um, just some of the villains that I like. Um, and of course the box of the 1989, which is a fine box. I normally catch the boxes and put them out eventually, but I think in this case, I'll cut the front off that and maybe frame it, because <laughs> it's lovely. So up here, um, and moving on then, at this one, the we have the creator sets, which are just magnificent sets as well. Love them. And then we have our Technic car here. Okay, now, this is where the mess begins, guys. <laughs> as I come along here, this is kind of my area for, we say, tools and stuff. And bits and pieces of everything everywhere it's just a mess but i wanted to show you this because this is the workshop at the end of the day it's where i store all my stuff it's where i have all my stuff so let me move around here we have the steamboat willy we have the idea set the treehouse set which is beautiful um the flintstones which again like that is fantastic um, and i'll find a place for it eventually moving on down i have a more kind of a chill out seat here and a table with more stuff on it. I can build there as well. And we have Black Friday. I was lucky to get that in a local store of mine. The Harry Potter Hogwarts miniature, miniature uh, figs um, set. That's That was 400 euro. And my wonderful girlfriend had got it for me on a deal for 300 euro, which is 100 euro off, which was fantastic. So um, I was well over the moon with that. And then we have, I'll walk around here actually because I'm a little bit far back. You see the storage area guys, I just have lots of drawers full of stuff as I move around right down here. And there's just everything everywhere. And as you know, Lego is about organization. Jesus, you spend half the time building, you'd spend the other half the time organizing. Um, Got a small little green lantern set. I was lucky actually, I found that inside an Aldi store. Um, not far from where I live, just for 10 euro, um, which is kind of cool. I didn't know Aldi did Lego. Oh yeah, and uh, I like this brickhead, uh, Liberty Lady. Lady of Liberty. <laughs> Liberty Lady, whichever. Um, um, Star Wars, I have to say, guys, I was never into it like a lot of people are obsessed. And I respect the following that people have for them. They're brilliant. Um, but I do like some of the figs, um, like the villains, and I'm just going to collect a small amount of those as time goes on. Um, a bat clock. I love the bat, as you know. Then we have our two Technics, the Bugatti, Chiron, and our Porsche 911 again. And just moving on here. This is just where I have all my storage of... I'm working on first colours, and then we're going to separate it out to be, we'd say, more... Um, by part eventually but it just takes so much time now the one thing I've been working on here guys because I know there's somebody that would follow me on Instagram but would know it is a bat cave but for the version that I'm doing it's a monster so it's going to take time again the Lego is expensive for these particular bricks what I have been working on I never showed it yet um, let me just get around it here is I put a big table in the middle and this is where I started the cave so just taking you through it, um, let's put that out there for a second. So as you can see, there's a lot of rock work in here. Ignore the can now and stuff with the Lego inside and it. it's what I would have used to build. And then literally it's going to go up. And we have up here at the top where his workstation is. Okay, and then as we move down and around, we have his suits room in here. I remember posting this on Instagram and I got a bit of stick over it, right over the fact that the room is white and anything in the back cave is, you know, dark grey or light grey at the most. And I agree, I do. But we all know that Lego, when you when you start doing dark grey or dark bluish grey, it gets quite dark inside. Like, look in here. Like, in here I'm going to have a, um, a bat tank or something in here on top of water. And I will have lights here. But... You can barely see the rock work. So I want to make sure that when I'm building the specific rooms anyway, his suits room, which is in here, like and you have all his suits inside in the glass containers. I'll have lights in those, but I want it to be seen when because out here at the front, like there's a um the bigger board. I'm gonna have another board out here 
this is at the front at the moment because I'm working on it from the front but this will go back and I'm going to have another board out front with loads of rock stalagmites and tights that you see in a cave running up so if I actually have that room in dark grey for the sake of keeping to the code of the bat you won't see it you know so I did it in white so it will brighten it up and you will see it and then we have here a small crevice it's hard to see now sorry it's just I should have a light on that and I don't but in there I've got a small crevice and a load of bats hanging upside down and I'll do a proper update on this now when I'm moving on it. And then, of course, as you can see, a weapons room. And i done that in yellow because the bat is black and yellow. But again, like that, you can see everything inside in there when it's that bright. And I will have a light down in it, but the yellow just goes nice with the black ground. And everything that you can possibly see that he would have in his cave. You know, and just backing up here. Um, and then we're just moving over to the side here which is where he's a small little kind of a built pier i'll have lights here and all these little small areas i'll have a load of blue water and i'll have his bat boat here not sure then from there and i stopped for a while because i ran out of gray and also stopped because like anything else when you're trying to create something from inside in your head it takes time guys you can be inspired for a small amount i had a kind of an overall design here as i stand back so we had the area here where his space of operations is we've got his suits room and we've got his actual weapons room and as you move on down we're going to go to the point of where you have his boat and I don't know what I'm going to have up here. So all these things take time and that's why I spent a lot of time in here over the past few months because I was working on this and that's why I didn't get into the city to do that much. So we will keep you updated on both of what I will be doing but this is a big project of mine and I want to sit it right underneath Wayne Manor inside so you can literally kneel down and see all of this lit up and then the what the manor is on top so yeah guys so tell me what you think and again thank you so much for following me and giving me suggestions i really appreciate all your feedback again on everything so um and again any suggestions especially with the cave you know because there's so many different takes on it height wise and stuff like that this is going to go up higher again it's going to be huge so you're talking about i can't even begin to describe but probably one meter two meter it's probably two meters anyway we'd say long and um, probably a meter high and probably a meter when you look into it as in width as well you know so i'm trying to build the biggest i can um and I want to kind of more horizontal so you can literally start at the start and work away along. And there's tons to put into it. He's got every gimmick you can think of going and I love gadgets. So that's my take on that. So yeah, guys, so this is my excuse for not being in my city was being in here. Um, I shall uh, be doing and this is what I want to actually I forgot to say what it is that I want to do in here eventually is that I would want to start doing set reviews. Um, I love sets obviously i don't buy them first of all when they come out straight away like i'm um, by any means like you know i kind of normally wait for deals and stuff to come on but over in this corner here i want to start doing set reviews because um i'm living in ireland and i don't see a lot of people doing that here and i want to just do it for people that would be here as well that would want to buy a set and they could look up what i would think of it just living over here um and again just to share what my thoughts would be guys on some of the stuff that's out there and that's coming out on lego itself i think now from being at it i'm at it about five years and was into one as a kid but like that then you grow out of it and then eventually i just stumbled upon it a few years back and i just love it absolutely love it so i could spend ages out here and not think of life going by so i just started said i'd start we'd say reviewing sets and getting into it and um and just give you my thoughts on on uh on what i love about it and the negatives the pros the cons the whole lot and the good so yeah so till the next time my friends thanks again for everything comments suggestions and being subbed to me um very very much appreciate it um so till the next time like a leprechaun out <laughs>